Hi folks and welcome to Monsters and Munitions. I'm your host PPHU and today we're checking out this in the uh, Steam Early Access game. So, uh, without further ado, let's take a look at it. Um, and well, let's jump into the campaign here and really see uh, how the game plays out. So, um, I've played about 45 minutes of this so far, and the uh, the best way that I can sort of, um, or, you know, the best uh, summary that I can sort of give for this game is that it's a mashup between a trading card game and a siege uh, game of sorts. So if you've uh, if you've played something like Angry Birds, it's kind of similar uh, like that. You know, it's it's a fairly cheap game. It's about seven bucks, and uh, the neat thing is that it has this uh, card play mechanic to it, um, as you can sort of see here. So. Um, we picked out, uh, we've, uh, we've sort of picked out a few movements on the campaign map, and what those movements translate to are uh, a few different scenarios that we're going to be uh, playing now. And we're going to start off with this one. We, it looks like we have a tower here, and we also have a sort of like a little you know, side building. And well, with that sort of said, we get to choose uh, what location we want to fire first, and we'll use a drill. Let's see uh, how this really goes and how we can sort of proceed. So I'm going to try to take this tower down from the top. I'm going to use this drill. Let's go right through. And it looks like that uh, that looked. That got us uh, both of the goals. Um, so we got the skeleton on top and the uh, the scientist down here. So that essentially finishes off the scenario. Um, so we finish that and we get to move on to the next one. And don't worry, the other ones are a bit harder. All right, so moving forwards, um, as you can see here, I mean, the, the main premise of the game is that you want to take out these structures and you want to figure out how, you, uh, how you're going to do that with whatever projectiles that you have. All right, so let's get another drill and let's try to sort of do the same thing and take this tower down from the bottom up. Actually, no, let's start from the top this time, and let's try to knock down these two red crates right here. Um, as you can see, I mean, this game does, it does have, like, this Halloween theme going to it. I mean, uh, it kind of has some monsters in the name, so I guess, uh, I guess you sort of have to expect that. So we want to get the, uh, the, the little gargoyle thing up top, um, and the two people down here. Alright, so with that said, let's, uh, let's puff off a shot, and let's try to get the crate. There we go. That will clear off all of that, and that should hopefully make the innards of the tower uh, vulnerable. So let's get uh, let's get this this one the extended pinch. So this one, this one, this uh, projectile is higher in accuracy, and we'll see if that that. Oh, and it just might do it. There we go. So, that takes out that tower, and that moves us forward by one more. Another thumbs up for us, and another scenario to play. Ooh, and I think we already know what we are going to be doing on uh, this, in this mission right here. Alright, so let's see what we have again. So we have some drill shots, we have some... Uh, some bouncing shots too. So we have like, uh, you know, these these uh, these projectiles. They all have different modifiers, and you can actually uh, customize what shots you have uh, later on. I'll show you guys that in a bit. But right now, I think uh, I think the best thing to do here is that if we is if we use drill shot, actually one of these uh, upgraded drill shots, you just sort of get through that metal box and into those explosives. So we'll try that. Now we're just going to sort of uh, fire it down with my gun. I think I earned a little too high with that, but we did get rid of the box. So that's um, that's sort of that. Uh, oh well, we have more of those. Try aiming lower this time. We just want to snipe this guy. Let's see how these things go. <laughs> Alright, so we managed to do a lot of damage, but it doesn't look like we managed to uh, get the person there. I'm going to fire off the bounce munition. Hopefully we can uh, sort of fire it over this hill, bounce it in and into the bottom of that uh, tower place. Oh, ah, that was a little high. 
Uh, do we get another shot? Some of these scenarios we get three, some of them you get five. Really depends on the difficulty. Oh, we do get five. Okay, so that's good. Now, that shot is a little high. We're going to use a focused one. In. Really don't want to hit that box, though. So, I'll try to go for, uh, for that. Um, that one is a little bit weak. That was a really nice uh, arc of the shot. If we, if we do the same thing with the drill bit shot, we might be able to do enough damage to the tower to get the bomb. Oh, uh, so close. So, um, how it sort of works is that you you sort of uh, you sort of complete these scenarios until you fail one and as you sort of complete them you'll get these uh, booster packs for your deck which it means more cards um, ultimately I mean you can move five times in one um, in one go but um, if you fail one you you sort of move as many uh, steps of sorts um, depending on how many you've uh, you sort of finished so let's see what cards we've got. So let's open up these uh, two little pack things and let's see uh, what we got here. So we got another drill and we got another pogo, which is a bouncing um, sort of munition. And now what you can sort of do with these things is that you, you, you'll be getting a lot of these uh, secondary cards over time. And with them, uh, what we can do from then is that we can uh, actually boost the effectiveness of some of our uh, higher quality cards. So, I mean, we have a lot of drills and we have a lot of pogos. So I think we'll take a few of the extra ones that we have here, especially these drills. Um, seeing as how we just do not need them if when we have these sharpened tip cards and we will try to make a better extended pinch card so we're going to use three of them and I, I think we'll throw in the extra pogo and that'll give us uh, in total three uh, extra levels for this card so we'll boost them like that convert some of these cheap cards into some of these more useful ones and now we have a slightly leveled up card at the expense of uh, at the expense of some of these cards that we don't want. Now, with this uh, with these weapons, we can sort of uh, well try another scenario. Let's see how these cards sort of play uh, with the boost. Assuming that we draw them, of course. The other thing is that I'm not uh, not necessarily particularly good at the game, so bear with me here if we uh, sort of miss the mark on these shots. All right, for this one, I feel like it's just supposed to uh, go right through this little structure, you know, blow it up first, and as soon as that is sort of cleared, we can then shoot at the, um, oh, have a little werewolf here, at the uh, the scaffolding where the pillar is down here. So let's try that. Let's try to get this thing right in there. I'm gonna take that out, so. That'll get rid of the first portion here, and then we can nab our, you know, our explosive shot. And we'll fling that right into that ladder. And boom, building falls. Don't know if you guys could tell, but, uh, well... It's it's sort of hard to tell with video, but you, as you can see there, I mean the 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 leveled up card had a well, it had quite a bigger it had quite a bigger uh, initial boom than the other card, and because we've only moved one tile on the map, we uh, we only had to finish one uh, little you know mission of sorts to complete that movement, and we can open this pack again and see what we have here, and we have a added punch card. So, um, I think that will sort of be the end of our Let's Try for this game. Not particularly good at these games, so I don't want to, uh, you know, humiliate myself by playing some of the tougher missions. Um, but, you know, uh, the game is six bucks on Steam. It's fairly enjoyable for what it's worth. And I hope you guys enjoy the Let's Try video here.